Favorite food. So my wife, uh, every year for my birthday, she allows me to eat my favorite food, which is spam and rice. So maybe I'm Hawaiian at heart. I don't know. Favorite food. Um, I love a good filet mignon with baked potato and broccoli. Uh, my favorite food <laughs> would have to be tacos. My favorite food is sushi. Favorite food? If I had one meal left, my last meal would be the Zinger Mountain Melt at a Ale House. It's, it's the perfect combination of cheese, bacon, and uh, french fries. It's, it's delicious. Favorite restaurant is in Carrollwood. It's in a uh, small um, uh, shopping center, and it's called Terra Sur. It's a Peruvian restaurant, and I always get the ceviche there. Ooh, Gus is in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, Favorite restaurant? Um, probably Eddie V's in, in Tampa, South Tampa. My favorite restaurant would be Soho Sushi. Casual? I like Hooters. Hooters is really good. Really great food, great wings. Uh, nice restaurant. I have to say, a good steak from Eddie V's. That's doesn't beat that. And the banana foster there is pretty good too. If I wasn't a podiatrist, I would probably be some sort of expedition guide in Alaska or somewhere cool. Burger for tips. Um, alternative job would be selling ice cream on the beaches of Maui. We saw a guy there who um, retired. Uh, we went to, my wife and I went on our honeymoon in Maui, and uh, we met a guy who was selling ice cream on the beach, and he actually retired from being a lawyer at age of 45, and uh, he looked like he was pretty relaxed and having a good time. If I weren't a podiatrist, I'd be an actor. In Hollywood, of course. If I had a backup career, probably a professional wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't a podiatrist, you know, I think I would be, I think I'd be an actor. I think, I think I'd have fun being an actor. I'd, I'd love to move to Hollywood uh, and uh, do something cool. Or I could be a stand-up comedian. I had a, I did a, I had a short stint as a comedian way back in the day, but you know, that was short-lived because I'm not that funny. <laughs> my hobbies, so I love eating a lot. So in turn, I have to work out a lot. So it's like a vicious cycle. So I'm constantly eating and working out. Hobbies. Uh, my hobbies outside of podiatry would be uh, running uh, and really just doing anything outside and enjoying the weather far. My hobbies, um, golfing, fishing, traveling. Um, my hobby that I um, have been doing since I was two years old is uh, sailing. So um, I actually partake in a, uh, the longest freshwater race in the world called the Chicago to Mackinac Race. And we have been doing it for the past 25 years and um, that's my favorite pastime. My hobbies are fishing and biking. Uh, I like, well, favorite surgery is Achilles tendon repair. Favorite surgery uh, would be uh, flat foot reconstruction because it's quite rewarding taking a foot from uh, something real flat to something with a nice arch. Favorite surgery, you know, there's nothing more satisfying than pulling out an ingrown toenail. It's good. Favorite surgery, probably a first MPJ implant. I think it's a rewarding surgery. Most patients are happy and it's a quick recovery surgery and that's removal of an ingrown nail because it's so painful for a patient to have this and so satisfying when the nail is gone and the patient can walk out happy and pain free. Don't wear flip-flops. My number one foot advice would be to not step on a nail.
probably mostly for diabetics is, you know, annual foot checks is very important. <laughs> number one foot advice, I guess the number one foot advice is, you know, if you're going to go to a nail salon or anything like that, make sure you do your due diligence, make sure they're using uh, clean equipment, making sure they're, they're practicing good hygiene. Otherwise, come to us and we'll take care of you. My number one foot advice would be that toe jam is not good on toast. Um, I try to cook. Uh, I usually leave that up to my wife. She's an exceptional cook, so um, I let, let her, her do all the cooking. I do cook. Uh, everyone may have a different opinion on my ability of cooking, but I do enjoy cooking, yes. I like to cook. Um, I don't even know what I like to cook. Well, I'm a meat eater. I like to cook a lot of barbecue. I'm Brazilian, so I frequent the chahashkarias quite often, and uh, I like anything that is meat. Kind of, sort of, I dabble. I like to YouTube videos um, on how to cook. Uh, I guess one of my favorite things to do, uh, favorite things to cook is, uh, if you go on, online, YouTube, uh, Gordon Ramsay, uh, how to cook a perfect steak. He shows you how to cook a perfect steak in about five minutes. It's the super easiest thing in the world to do. The question is, do I cook if Picking up your phone and ordering Uber Eats is cooking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so I'll tell you my best podiatry joke, and it's um, what did one toenail say to the other? Want to hang? <laughs> Come on! That kills in the patient rooms. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why don't blind people skydive? Scares the hell out of the dog. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you call a cop in bed? An undercover cop. Why do cannibals eat clowns? Because they taste funny. <laughs> Why do scuba divers fall backwards out of a boat? Because if they fall forwards, they'll hit the boat. I would have to say my dream vacation would be either the Galapagos Islands or a cruise to Antarctica. The uh, Bora Bora. Dream vacation? Um, probably a safari in South Africa. See, my dream vacation would be going to the moon. <laughs> dream vacation? I'd love to go backpack around uh, Asia so much to see, so much to do, so much culture to take in. Um, hopefully uh, in the near future I'll have time to do that. It's just funny because he knows he doesn't look at any sports. Um, <laughs> um, my favorite sport would be, that I play, is uh, racquetball. Uh, favorite sport would be soccer. My favorite sport would be fishing. Favorite sport, I love football. Uh, I love football. I love the Bucks. I love my Gators. Um, and I hate FSU. <laughs> Favorite sport to play with soccer. Favorite sport to watch, probably either hockey or football. Favorite movie. My favorite movie is Bloodsport. It's a classic 1980s movie with John claude Van Damme. It's the perfect uh, combination of action, romance, fighting, all around good acting. So, you know, I, if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you go watch it. Favorite movie is uh, Real Genius with uh, Val Kilmer. It's an 80s flick and it still makes me laugh every time I watch it. Favorite movie is Wild Hogs. Uh, it's, a <laughs> it's a classic. My wife yells at me every time I watch it, but it uh, gets me every time. My favorite movie was Back to the Future and close second would be Animal House. Favorite movie I would probably have to say is My Cousin Vinny. Uh, I think it's a classic with Joe Pesci. Never gets old. It's an Asics. Favorite running shoe? Um, I'm gonna change that up a bit. I'm really, I really like my cross training shoes. It's the Reebok Nano uh, 6, version 6. Uh, 
fits well, built to do everything that you need to do as far as running, lifting weights, all the above. Favorite running shoe would be the Hoka uh, One Onois, if I said that right. Uh, I really enjoy their support. Who is Asics? Running shoe, Asics. Chemistry, without a doubt. Or organic yeah, chemistry. Or organic chemistry. Yeah. Uh, least favorite subject would be chemistry, without a doubt. Uh, oh, my least favorite subject in school is, um, what was the one? What was it? Biochem. I hate biochem. My least favorite subject in school was probably history. What's your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school is the anatomy of the foot. What's your least favorite subject? The anatomy of the foot. <laughs> Most interesting place. Um, I would have to say Brazil. So my, um, my grandmother still lives on the beaches of uh, Rio and uh, my uncle and my cousins are still there so that's a pretty interesting place considering the culture is very diverse and of course I love the food. Most interesting place I've been would probably be uh, Skagway, Alaska. Uh, it's a small gold mining town in the middle uh, of Alaska with mountains on either side. It feels real, real remote. Most interesting place I've been is probably Thailand. Anything interesting in particular about it? Just the culture, the food, the people. Just everything was a great experience. Oh, it's sick. The most interesting place I have been would probably be Toledo, Spain, because I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, and I went to Toledo, Spain, and they were very different. Most Muy diferente. Most embarrassing. No, I'd say Vietnam, hands down. You know, the food, amazing, fresh as they can be, you know, straight from the farm. Um, great culture, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's cool to see where my parents grew up. Um, the most embarrassing thing about myself is I'm a podiatrist and I have the flattest feet in the world. It's not, <laughs> it's embarrassing. It, it's embarrassing to other people, but I played uh, clarinet in the marching band and I was pretty good at it. <laughs> and we'll keep that in there. I'll keep it in there. <laughs> uh, most embarrassing thing about myself. Um, my second toe is crooked. <laughs> uh, most embarrassing thing I'm willing to admit about myself is uh, my taste for really bad reality TV. Most embarrassing thing I'd like to admit, and willing to admit, um, let's see, still at home with my parents. That's, that's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like Below Deck Mediterranean, it's one of my favorites. My favorite uh, TV show other than Below Deck Mediterranean uh, would be The Game of Thrones. Uh, definitely Curb Your Enthusiasm. Favorite TV show is, oh by far, um, I don't know, that's a toughie. It's a toss between Game of Thrones, because I'm currently watching it, and Battlestar Galactica. Favorite TV show, probably Blacklist. Favorite TV show? I think I'm, I'm on the same boat as everybody else right now, you know? I mean, I can't get enough of uh, Game of Thrones. It's pretty good. Um, band right now, I'd probably say, I do like One Republic's music. Uh, older band, I like the Beatles. Favorite band? Okay, so currently, jeez, I can't name a single band. I mean, I like all country music. But back in the day, I was a big NSYNC fan. My favorite band is U2. By far, the best band ever. Favorite band would have to be... Dave Matthews. Favorite band is, uh, Billy Joel. Name one fun fact about yourself. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, fun fact. I can juggle. Uh, fun fact about myself, I put on my left sock first. Uh, when I was younger, I played on a um, 
private German soccer team, and we actually went to Europe for a couple weeks and played against professional teams in Europe. Oh, that's easy. So um, I tell this to my patients all the time. I treat everybody like family that I like. <laughs> Philosophy on treating patients, uh, similar to Dr. Cruz, is uh, always treat patients like they're your family, and uh, when you stop doing that, it's probably time to stop practicing. My philosophy on treating patients. Uh, my philosophy on treating patients is pretty quite simple. I treat everybody like they're my mom. You know, I love my mom, so I wouldn't do anything to you that I wouldn't do to her. Quite simple as that. Uh, philosophy for treating patients. Um, I think conservatively is better. So if I can fix you and get you better conservatively, then that's that's the route that I prefer to go. My philosophy on treating patients is make them feel comfortable. My secret talent would be reading people's minds. <clears throat> uh, my secret talents, I'd have to say, is my photography skills. Secret talents. One thing I'm unusually good at is whistling. Say <laughs> work <laughs> 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 My most embarrassing patient encounter. So, I was excising a wart, and uh, when I was numbing the foot, um, somehow due to the vascularity of the wart, the anesthetic shot through the wart and hit me in the eye. Um, needless to say, I flushed my eye out, went back in the room, and I had kind of a droopy left eye for a couple minutes afterwards from the lidocaine. So my most embarrassing uh, patient encounter. Uh, I was a third year in podiatry school. I uh, walked into the room with an uh, air of confidence about me because I thought I knew everything. And uh, after introducing myself to the patient, I went to sit down and by accident uh, kicked the chair I was about to sit in and found myself sitting on the floor pretty quick. I think I remember way back in school, one of the first times I ever treated a patient, I was cutting their nails. And literally the first nail I cut went straight into my mouth. I, uh, I kind of played it off, you know, like a professional, and finished the job and ran straight to the bathroom right afterwards and brushed my teeth like 10 times. I <laughs> see. My most embarrassing patient encounter would be um, when I was doing diabetic foot care on a patient and I'm cutting his nails and my medical assistant had not taken off his other shoe. And when I went to take off the shoe to cut his nails, there wasn't a foot there, it was a prosthetic leg. Um, and it was a little bit embarrassing because there weren't any toenails on the prosthetic leg. First care, okay. So my first car was a uh, Z28 Camaro with T-tops. It was a 1993 where they had the F-body style still and I cruised around there. Um, I think the car cost 5,700 bucks and um, it was my favorite car. My first car was a Ford Bronco. My first car, it was a hand-me-down from my mom. It was a 1995 Nissan Pathfinder, built like a tank. Probably hit several cars with it, and I miss it like crazy. My first car was a 1972 Dodge Dart with rust all around the edges, and it was great. 